Christmas tree. Can we please go? Yeah, let's go. I would love to be able to just lay in my bed, watch some Netflix, but. Kelly wants to go get a Christmas tree because she's in the Christmas spirit. Three. Where's Gigi at? Oh, Big Bourbon got room for all y'all back there. Not really. Houston got his big boy chair, got his Crocs. Drinking, all the soda. drinking a Dr. Pepper. That's enough soda for you. And the thing that will make me... This makes me so happy. This, what, what, let me know, what makes you happy? What about this makes you happy? Just all my kids and then the fact that we're about to celebrate Christmas, which is like a time where everybody gets together and we give each other gifts and we eat and we just like are all cozy and you know? I feel like happy wife, happy life. So as long as you're happy, I'm happy. <laughs> Here, you forgot your ring. Sorry, I didn't mean to flip y'all off. <laughs> Let's go, Walmart or Lowe's. Pick the finger. I don't want to go to either. Pick the finger. Go to get a real tree, not a fake tree. Where am I gonna go get a real tree at Lowe's? And Walmart has a little tree. Alright. So pick up Alright, look, look guys, here's the deal. When we leave Lowe's with this Christmas tree, we're gonna pull up to McDonald's, get a 50-piece McNugget, and call it a night. How do y'all feel about that? We can't go to House of Pies with a tree on our roof. Why not? Nah, what if it rains? They ain't even got no trees in there. It's empty. They ain't even started selling trees yet. They're inside. Y'all ain't even ate the turkey yet. Y'all trying to buy a Christmas tree. They're inside. They probably got some fake ones inside, but the real ones would be outside. I want a fake one. I want a real one. Ain't no fun if it's a. And you can't even smell it when it's fake. They're empty in there. So, we usually get a real tree and we go to the farm and we get it cut down. Well, not last year. Last year they had already cut it and, you know, they saved us the job. This year we want to do it like ourselves. And so we want to hop on the little wagon and they're going to drive us to the farm with all the trees and then we get to pick our tree and cut it. So, we can't do that until after Thanksgiving. Womp, womp, womp. And so, you know. And they open the day after Thanksgiving. The kids are like, I want a real one. So, because they want a real one, and I, I look, you want to do that too, but I just so like, we'll, we'll make it a day. In the such day a day after Thanksgiving, vibe. on Black Friday, we'll go cut down a Christmas tree. I'm guessing we can just go eat. Fifty piece McNugget. Let's go get one. I'm bad, 
love house of pie. Lily, are you sleeping? Fun fact, this is our go-to family, like, night run for food. Does that make sense? Like, we usually come to House of Pies at night to eat breakfast as family. So yeah, we're here. House of Pies. What should I get? Houston, what are you going to get? Yeah, look at baby Rose. Houston, yeah. what are you gonna get? Uh, and what are you gonna get to drink? Uh, chocolate milk. Chocolate milk? Hot chocolate. Wow! <laughs> it's so cute, Houston. It's so I wanted a coffee, that's what oh. I wanted. I need to get a coffee. Roro is big boy status right now in his high chair. There goes your baba. Look, watch him work. You're so cute. You're so cute. Oh, look, he's grabbing his own bottle now. He grew up in like a blink of an eye. What are you going to get? What are you going to get? You don't know yet? Alright. And these three are a little far, but I'm gonna look over the menu. I don't know what I want. I think I want a cheeseburger. But I also want some breakfast. So, the struggle is real. So, yeah, let's do this. You want to watch it? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna watch this one. That's your favorite one to watch? Yeah. What is it about? That's, uh -huh. How does the song go that you like? It goes like, like you, like you, like it. Like that? Yeah. Already. Gonna, what were you eating? No, I was eating chips. You were eating chips? Well, yeah. With, with my sandwich. With your sandwich? Yeah. You need help? Yeah. So it's the next day. Last night we went out to eat, as y'all can see, and our food came. We started eating, forgot to vlog. We got so full, came home, fell asleep. That's what happened yesterday. But today's Friday, it's a new day. Kelly Jean is in the kitchen whipping up some fried shrimp. What's up, everybody? Make sure y'all make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget it's Finance Friday. Remember I told y'all last week we was going to start doing Finance Friday, man. We're trying to elevate y'all. I, I, I say it all the time. I see it all the time. Man, being poor is a mindset. Being rich is a mindset. It starts in your mind. It starts with your thoughts. It starts how you feel about yourself. You look good. You feel good. You're going to do good. Speak life. I speak life over all y'all watching this right now, man. You know what I'm saying? We're sending y'all blessings and prosperity and peace and love and hair grease. It's been a little hard for us to get back in the rhythm uh, of us vlogging the way y'all are used to. Uh, but we're trying, you guys. Um, I've been, like, going hard at the gym. And Lucky's been focusing in his finances and learning more about it so he can teach y'all. That's right. I'm also taking a class to get a securities license so I can be licensed in the state of Texas to open you up a Roth IRA or a mutual fund. So yeah, it's taking a lot of it's taking a lot of time. It's taking a lot of studies. Gotta take some classes, online classes. But I'm gonna get my license, man. I'm gonna get my license. Cause I see what it's done for me and my family having the interest compound over time, 
And I know I can do it for a lot of y'all out there and I can help a lot of people. I know I, I can reach a lot of people and I can help a lot of people. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm going I'm going to go ahead and get my license to get my securities license. And I'll be licensed in the state of Texas, man, to help you out with your finances. Like, for real, for real. So that's what we've been doing. Um, uh, currently, I'm making shrimp, as y'all can see. Which is looking a little gross. So we use this. Let me see. It's a Louisiana fish fry product. And I'm using the Cajun crispy fish fry. Uh, it's spicy. So... They have an original one in case y'all want to try it. Um, I, all I do is peel, I wash the shrimp, I peel them, and then I dip it in egg. So you gotta crack an egg and then um, whisk it, dip the shrimp in the egg, get it all wet, and then you dip it in the fish fry, and then you fry it. So let me show y'all, they're pretty much done. And it's looking delicious. I cannot wait to eat this. Oh, I wish I had some french fries. And there it is. It's spicy. Let me try one of them. Anyway, before my little son punched my up? phone. What's up? <laughs> this boy here. He swear he the star of the show. You ain't the star of the show. No. I'm oh. the star of the show. I am the show. Anyway, man, as I'm learning my uh, what I'm getting, the knowledge I'm acquiring, and man, you're never too old to stop learning. You're never too old to stop educating yourself. So even though you're not in school or even though you're grown, you always should continue to educate yourself. And just like I brought y'all on my uh, transformation of me uh, stopping drinking and getting healthy and running every morning and doing all that at the beginning of this year, and I brought y'all along with me. And shout out to everybody who's on their 90 day challenge. They're about halfway through. Uh, just like I brought y'all on that journey, I'm gonna bring y'all on this educational financial literacy journey that I'm learning as well. I, I don't. I already paid for my classes. I'm gonna start my class November uh, 29th. <coughs> so yeah, man, that's gonna be a new chapter for 2021 for me and my life. I'm gonna be um, licensed in the state of Texas, and I'm really proud and excited and happy about that. But for now, if anybody that wants to go ahead and open it up, I open you one up, open an account up, or even to learn about it, to learn what it is. You can uh, holler at us now. My boy Anthony already got the license, so y'all can holler at him and go through him. Boy, did you take a dookie? I didn't know. You know. I didn't know. No, you know. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah, man. So uh, if anybody's interested in that, text 214-609-4711. And uh, we'll get back with you, man. We'll set up a Zoom meeting. I'll jump on a Zoom meeting with you, me and Anthony both together. We're willing to educate y'all and help y'all out, man. You ain't got to buy nothing. You ain't got to purchase anything. You know what I'm saying? We're just trying to educate y'all. And then if y'all want to move forward, we can let you know how to do that. But you ain't got to pay for nothing. It's free. If you want to get on a Zoom call with me and Anthony, we'll set it up for you, man. 214-609-4711. Also, life insurance, man. That's the first thing you need to do. You're driving around with insurance on your car, but you ain't got insurance on your life. That's the most important thing. So you got plenty of time to invest for the future with uh, mutual funds and Roth IRAs and all, all those types of different accounts that you can fall back on in the future and your future self will be thanking you for it later, but you don't got time if you die tomorrow. So make sure you're properly protected with life insurance, man. I get you in a policy for $500,000 of insurance for less than a hundred bucks a month. You know what I'm saying? We've been hooking people up. I'm talking about $50 a month. They cover for like two, three hundred thousand dollars So you never know when your time is up. So make sure you're properly protected. Yes, we walk in faith and give it all to God. And we don't walk in fear. And we know that God is covering us. But you still got to be wise. And especially when you got kids and a family so that you provide for. You know what I'm saying? You got to replace that income if you die. You know what I'm saying? Because when you die, the income you make stops and your kids are still alive. So you got to make sure that you leave something for them. Also, 
If you want to open up a mutual fund for your kids, you can do that too. You know what I'm saying? I just did that for my kids. And that way, when they turn 18, if they want to open a business or if they want to go to college, whatever they want to do, they'll have their own fund there. And, you know, when you can, instead of sticking your money in the bank where they're giving you 0.5%, you know, you can put it in a, a mutual fund getting 10, 15%. So come on, man. I'm trying to educate y'all. Take advantage of this. Holla at us, 214-609-4711. We'll set up an appointment, set up a Zoom call, and we'll get you educated. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all seen, I know y'all seen uh, these rappers that are dying left and right out here, man. You never know when your time is up, man. You know what I'm saying? We spend a lot of money on, um, on stuff that we don't need. I know you can afford $50 a month to make sure you protect it. And another thing, when it comes to you rappers out there, man, start speaking life in your music, man. All y'all do is speaking, y'all speaking death, and y'all don't know that the power of life and death is in the tongue. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all speaking this out of y'all mouth, and it's coming back on y'all, man. I hate to say it, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? If y'all listen to this music, y'all don't realize it, but it's very demonic. And I was in that for a long time, and now that I've stepped out of it, and I'm looking from the outside looking in, I can see it. But when you're in it, you don't realize it. And I didn't realize it for a long time. So I'm not knocking y'all. I'm trying to educate y'all and let y'all know. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to stop talking about this shoot em up, bang, bang, glorifying these drugs, this drug money, and that lifestyle, that gangster lifestyle, man, because there's only one way out of that. You know what I'm saying? Just watch, watch what y'all putting out there, man. Remember, the energy you put out is the energy you're going to get back. That's why I'm constantly trying to put out this positive energy. Kelly's constantly putting out positive energy. And that's why we've been blessed. You know what I'm saying? We really have been blessed. We're able to spend time with our family. We're able to kick it with our kids all day. And that that is that is a blessing to be able to do that. A lot of us trade time for money. And, you know, you don't want to do that. You want to have freedom and, you know, live life on your terms, man. So if you're interested in learning how you can do that, holla at us, man. Let's get it going. I have to come show y'all this. <laughs> so Houston is literally, like, right here in the backyard on his little bike. And he's been bringing me flowers. Like, let me show you. Like, he's been picking flowers for me. He brought me this one. But this one is just cracking He pulled the whole out. root out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. We love y'all, man. Stay down. Stay true. You watch Luciano TV. Lean on God. If I lean, I'ma lean on God. Used to steady lean on drink. Now I'm steady leaning on.